Now it's time for Sam's Mailbag. Yeah. It is from Judy on the uh, 9 MSN or whatever it is, Ed. Mm -hmm. I'm writing to inform... You'll love this. No. I'm writing to inform you of a new game my girlfriends and I play. It's called Strip Pie. Every time Eddie mentions Collingwood, we spin a football and whoever it ends up pointing at removes an article of clothing. Some of us have been naked before the first break. <laughs> It started as a drunken act of stupidity, now it's a weekly ritual. And incidentally, Ed, you did mention, uh, Collingwood, I think, about Nathan Buckley coming on, so we forgot to just put that on there. So Jeez, just put that on there. And what an appropriate number to come up. Yeah, yeah. it is too. Now this is Dipstick of the Week. Ed? Trev, sorry. What, what, what for the Richmond? 05. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 05, yeah. This is Dipstick of the Week competition, Ed. Okay. Um, now... There's a woman here called, uh, well, it might be a man, V. Lennon from Queensland. Mm. Uh, she's sent this to Channel 7, five envelopes to Channel 7, almost footy legends, and she thinks that she's going to actually win a prize because she sent five envelopes in. Now, what you've got to do, uh, you idiot, is uh, actually send a video in. Um, that's the idea of almost footy legends. Actually, if you combine the, the first two letters, we'll be very happy to see the video as well as it comes in. The girl's doing the old spin the footy sound. Absolutely correct, Ed. Uh, we might now, get them in, actually. Sit them in here. That's given us uh, something to chase, as we say in the Olympics. Um, uh, and, of course, someone else. Margaret Johnson hasn't let us down. She sent another envelope in. Just got almost football on it. Uh, P.O. Box. And she thinks that uh, she might win a Football Legends Prize. Ed, you've got to send the video in, you absolute pieces of crud. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Next. I watch the footy show every Thursday night. I wish that you would tell me when, this is from, um, oh I can't read it, yes, I can't, no I can't read his name, whoever that is. I wish you would tell me where Street Talk would be held next week so I could get a chance to get my 15 minutes of fame. Could you also please ask Eddie Maguire if I could arrange, if he could arrange it for me to have an audition for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> now that I'm tipping if you are hell bent on being on Street Talk, there's a fair chance you're not going to answer many questions. <laughs> fair chance you're not going to answer many questions. Who wants to be a millionaire? And now this is from now this is from Stuart Denning. Mm -hmm. You'll love this. Ed. Seven weeks ago, I was on your program, Street Talk, in the Footscray Mall. You gave me a good rap, as you said I was the only one that made any sense. I was rapped, Sammy, as I was stoned off my tits. <laughs> I am writing to you in my cell at the Port Phillip prison. <laughs> and he said, could we send a cheerio to the boys from the Alexandra North <laughs> section of the prison? And that's <laughs> Stuart Denning. So, hello, boys. They uh, think it's very, very good. But, uh, and, and can I have my VCR back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, stoned off his tits. Well, he was, uh, yeah. as was everyone. So okay. that's it, Ed. All right. Mm. That's it. That's my back of now, uh, thank goodness, touch wood, touch everything. We've got wood here, touch the wood boys, because luckily so far this year there haven't been too many nicks.